Juan and I are finding out the gender today. Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, my husband and I are finding out the gender of our unborn baby. I am almost 20 weeks and I'm really excited. I have shared this in the past, but I'll share it again. For our first child, we didn't find out the gender until she was born. And I actually had a really hard time connecting with her. And I think that has to do with a lot of things. She was in the NICU for a week. I was a C-section mama who didn't want a C-section in the first place. I suffered from part postpartum depression. And so there, among other things, it was just a lot going on. And I really felt like it took me a long time to finally feel like she was mine and feel connected to her. So this time around, I was like, you know what? I think I would like to find out the gender just so that I can start calling the baby by name and just be trying to form some type of connection before the baby is born so that when the baby does come, hopefully I will feel more connected to our little one. Now in my next video coming up, uh, you guys will actually get to find out the gender and see how we do our gender reveal for our family, but to make it extra special for my husband Juan and myself, and to not ruin the surprise for anyone in our family, we came up with two different gender reveals. So in today's video, you guys get to see our reaction, and so this is the way it's going to go down. Earlier today, before I went to my ultrasound, I prepared an envelope, and in that envelope I had two identical square pieces of paper, same color, same shape, everything. And we have already chosen the names for our unborn child, whether it's a boy or girl. And I put the first initial of baby's name on both of those identical pieces of paper. So the first initial, first letter is different. And that is why that's how this is all going to work. If you have the same first letter, then you might want to just choose the next letter or so on, uh, just so you can have, you know, a different letter there and that letter will represent whether or not it's a boy or girl. Now on those pieces of paper that are identical I put a post-it note on there and put girl or boy corresponding to the right letter. So let's just say that the initial for the girl was G and the initial for the boy was B. Uh, I would put a little boy post-it note on the boy paper and a little girl post-it note on the G paper. And I put both of those in an envelope and brought it with me to my ultrasound. Now, obviously not to spoil it for you guys, you don't know which ones I put uh, the girl and the boy post-it note on, so it is still a surprise for you. But once we got to our ultrasound and the tech like did all the photos and you know did the anatomy scan, she was able to get the gender and uh, I gave her the two pieces of paper and just said, you know, like trash the piece of paper that corresponds with the wrong gender, take off the post-it note because we don't want it to say girl or boy on it, throw that away and just take my little square orange piece of paper, put it back in the envelope and we're giving it to my mom. And my mom doesn't know what names we've chosen. So she could see a letter and ha it has no meaning to her whatsoever. She just knows that our baby's first name is gonna start with that letter and it could be anything. So after the ultrasound, we went and picked up a pizza, that pepperoni pizza from Walmart, one that's uncooked and needs to be refrigerated. And tonight my mom is going to be rearranging the pepperonis in the shape of the letter that is in the envelope. And she's gonna bake it. She's gonna throw it in a box that we were able to pick up for free from Costco. And that is gonna be how Juan and I are finding out the gender. We're gonna open up the box and see the letter. And then because we know the name, we'll know whether or not our baby is a boy or girl. So that's kind of the plan. I'll check in when we're ready to find out. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here's the big reveal. My mom got this set up for us. I'm very hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. You can have the honors. <laughs> oh my gosh, mm. no way. Okay, I have pictures that they yeah. gave me. Okay, so here are the pictures from today. Oh gosh. The baby was like kicking a lot. Mm -hmm. 
baby J. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a foot, got all the bones. And then I stuffed the photos that show the gender in here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and film this outro now, even though we haven't done the reveal. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to invite you to subscribe to actually find out what this baby's gender is. I'm going to be using the results of this video and planning my gender reveal party, uh, which I revealed the theme in a previous Get It All Done video. We are doing Is Our Bun a Daughter or a Son? And that will be our next video on my channel where you guys will get to find out as well. I'm excited about doing it this way because now at the reveal party, we'll be able to enjoy our family's reactions instead of just being shocked or surprised or excited ourselves. We're gonna be able to soak that all in as well. So don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.